Hi everyone and welcome back for our Unreal Engine 4 tutorial series in the skill system. Now I said the last episode was the last one, however uh, I've had a few questions from people so I thought I'd make a few bonus episodes uh, that will solve those questions for people. So in this episode I want to solve this issue and it's something that I probably missed, well I definitely missed in the first time around in this series so let's go through and add it. So what it is, is on our skill system so I have 15 perk points. Um, there, are, there isn't a check at the moment to test how many tiers you've got of each one. So the shield boost here, for example, I can buy it once. I can click on it again and buy it again and again and again and again. Now, I don't want it to happen. I want it to be a limit to how often I can purchase it. So we need to we'll work out a way of doing that. So the way to do that is on our skill button. So find your skill button UI widget and go to the graph there and we have the check prerequisite function here going on and the check prerequisite function is looking at what we've currently got as the prerequisite of the skill at least that we need to check against now it's checking that we need have a skill unlocked which we have or haven't done uh, but we also need to check whether or not the tier level of the current skill has been uh, met so the tier level is on the skill data here. Um, so here's the skill data. You can see I can get row tiers. And that determines how many tiers there are, how many times I can purchase it, basically. So I need to control that number. So the way to do that is on the check prerequisite, there's two locations we need to do this. First of all, we need to make sure the prerequisite of this skill is still OK. Um, but more importantly, we also need to make another one where we don't have prerequisite. So when we do click on the button and we check it, we want to check it there as well. So for this, we're just going to basically go into a new function and we're going to do check tiers. And it's going to have an output and it's going to be a simple output of a boolean saying success. Okay. And this success is going to come from checking the skill that we're looking at in the uh, skill data and then looking at also how many tiers we've been purchased so far on the skill component. So on the check tiers, we're going to drag the skill data out from our variable list and split it by right clicking on it and split. Now you can see how many tiers we uh, maximum we can have on this skill. So we want to check on our skill component how many tiers we have. So we need to get our skill component. So let's go from my player character, get that verbal out, and then go get skill system component. And now let's go have a look at our skill system component code. So let's go back into there. And we've got add skill and query skill, and we also got skill unlocks. Now when we go to add skill, what we're doing here is just adding one to the current tier every single time. So what we need to do is check what this currently is. So to do that, on our skill system, we're going to get our map for our skill. So we've called it skill unlocks. So let's drag out, get skill unlocks. And we're going to search that map for how many tiers we have unlocked. So from here, we can get... Um, Oh, sorry, uh, find a key. And the key we want is the skill and row name ID. Like so. And that will output how many tiers we've got currently on our skill system. So we will now want to check that this is less than the data tiers. So data tiers, we're going to check down and do less than that value. Oh, sorry, wrong way. That should be the other way around there. We're checking whether or not the current value we've got, which is this one, is less than the maximum, which is this one. So let's just reorganize that so it makes it a bit clearer. Like so. And then that will go into a branch, quite simply. And Well, you don't have to do a branch because you can just drag it straight to success, but we'll do a, a branch to simplify it. And we can add code to it later on if we need to as well. So let's just drag two return nodes out, ticking success for the one that says true. So we've got check tiers done. So I'm going to go into check prere prerequisite uh, function. And on this false here, we're going to drag our check tiers function out. 
and connect that up just before the return node. Okay, and that's going to be success. It's going to be plugged in to requirements met. So it'll only be successful if we have the right number of tiers. Next, we're going to go over to the end here where we did a query skill. And quite simply, if it's successful, we need to check if it's successful and check tiers are successful. So let's go check tiers and let's move all this stuff along. And plug that in. And we're going to check whether both of these are correct and true. So do an and coming out of your success for both of them. Okay. And we can plug that in to there and that in to there. Just move it about a bit so you can actually see it clearly. Let's actually put these in the other way around. So again, it doesn't cross the wires too much. There we go. Um, and there you have it. So it's now going to have to make sure that skill prerequisite is correct and the tiers number is correct as well. So let's go have a look at our skill data table and make sure we pick one that's a good one to do. So let's have a look at um, what was the... Yeah, so uh, tiers, we've got um, the grenade boost. So the grenades one requires two skill points and it's only got one tier so you can only buy it once so I should be only be able to click on it once so let's go and have a look at that and push play so open up a thing find my grenades click on it once and you do it twice and it won't work okay it's because I've already unlocked it and if I go to something else that has with more so shield boost I should be able to purchase this a couple more times and that's it and there you go and that is how you do the limitation of tiers for your skill points. If you like this episode and you want to see more of what I do, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lely, where I have a donation of just $1 a month will get you access to all my videos before anyone else, sometimes months before. Thank you to everyone who's been donating uh, to me so far. This has been amazing for all your support, so we wouldn't be doing this without you guys. So thank you so much yet again. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions for future content, please leave a comment below. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my content I release every single week. Thanks again, everyone, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.